So here we are. Um, I don't know. A so this I is think. chapter two two. Somewhere on the ship. And Jill. Damn it! Master took all my weapons. Can you reach uh, yeah, so you can hear no. Jill and Parker, her teams. BSAA yeah, partner. Um, are stuck on a ship, but the ship is a cruise ship, so it looks a lot like a floating mansion, as you may recall. <laughs> Listeners of the podcast may remember that gag, which was then picked up as news. But, um, yeah. yeah, so you'll get some familiar environments. So this is a case if you skipped it on, uh, you know, the 3DS version. Um, this is kind of what you're in for. It's a little closer to, uh, a little slower paced, scarier experience. Although there, you know, Chris is, uh, there's some Chris moments, um, that get the high octane, Mm -hmm. uh, let's say missile launching, boulder uppercutting uh -huh. stuff going. Dog punching. I don't dog know if, punching. Do you actually punch the dogs? Uh, can you hatchet them or something? You can hurt them. So in, hurt the, them in the original version, uh, original mode, the screwdriver is hidden there, but you come over here, um, and you might be like, what? There's no screwdriver. Oh, it's in the tub this time. That HD muck. <laughs> <laughs> we borrowed it from Silent Hill. <laughs> um, so the screwdriver's there in this case. But, um... Yeah, it's just a little bit. Oh, I think she says something about it. Uh, I think there's a joke about a touch-up somewhere in there. Um, but the bit here is she's been... Uh, her and Parker were gassed before this. and Uh-oh. So before I do that, this is a little bit of a puzzle here. Um, it's telling you a very key thing about Revelations is this evade. And it's similar to RE3. Um, but you have to push up right when they swing at you. And... In that nice. case, oh man, that's how that, embarrassing! That, yes, no, <laughs> now he's naked with his head in a TV. <laughs> Couldn't could this be any worse? But that's like it's already crucial in the main game, but on infernal mode where you can die in like 1.5 hits, um, it's extremely important. Um, you will die repeatedly if you don't do that effectively, and the the timing is pretty narrow. Like you need to be pretty precise with it. Um, and this was a touch puzzle um, back in the day. Um, basically, you have to get all these uh, doohickeys to line up on the glowing dot parts. Hey! Man. But now that that's up, oh, he suddenly got his strength back. But let me grab this really quick. Legendary parts. That'll come into play a little later. But the bit here, which I didn't get to go into because that enemy so rudely interrupted us, is that you start this area with no weapons. So you have no choice but to dodge and try to keep away from things. Um, so it's nice. another very nice dodge, if I may say so. Just do your best to dodge. Um, so yeah, if you were playing the regular version, most of these enemies would not even be here. Um, but yeah, it's basically if they touch you, it's like instant death. Um, you can get like one good hit in, um, but after that, you pretty much gotta you've got to use an herb or just keep dodging. Uh, let's see if I can do this again. All right. I have been practicing <laughs> this because I was tired of getting killed. Um, so lots of enemies. Um, so if you're looking for something where you really need to think fight versus flight, um, cash the normal mode still gives you that experience. But uh, playing on Infernal will really test your ability of like, should I shoot or should I just mm -hmm. hightail it out of here? Um, good old crest puzzle. I <laughs> think that's in keeping with some Resident Evil staples. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll want to come back here when you get the appropriate crest. Or Colgate, if that's your, if that's the way you roll. More Whichever, of, yeah. More of an Aqua Fresh Aqua Fresh. I like the colors. Oh, God. So they're going to shamble their way over here, but... Since you have so okay, here's an enemy that doesn't show up till way later. Oh my goodness! And has a very wide attack. Uh, <laughs> did not w did not successfully. Oh, he may kill me right here. <laughs> Luckily, I have one. Oh god! Oh. Oh, Jill, Jill, you gotta run. Okay. So that's probably the worst part. So, but now I'm completely out of healing items. So. That's gross. Um, oh, Shazbot. Okay, time to go. Oh, bad. oh, this is bad. It's like a college house party the morning after. No. Oh, that's probably the end of Jill. Yes. Oh, oh murdered. Murdered by ooze. So get used to that. Mm-hmm. I'll try to make a quicker run for this now.
hard, which is a way a to uh, yeah customize your weapons. Um, and you get access to that stuff a little quicker too. So it's not uh, nice. it's not it's not just um, oh we're gonna throw you into the wolves with no weapons at all and lol deal with it. Um, you do get access to better weapons faster, but I mean the amount of damage you can actually take is so low that even with a gun that's been totally, you know, you've really gone to town with the perks on it. Ugh. Well God. done. Um, you're still not going to deal... They gave you that one. Yeah. <laughs> you're still not going to deal a whole lot of damage. Um, and if I can get to that point, I can actually talk a little about the custom parts. Um, but again, the mode is all about... Uh, Remixing the experience and not just like it's harder because things deal more damage uh, There are certainly more enemies, but generally speaking. It's just trying to give you a little something extra. Uh, I Wish I could just get past this guy and not let him know I'm here gross Okay, so that's no. Oh, he's uh, horrid. Oh, he's <laughs> he's, he's the size of the hallway, that so you it. you can kind of cheat him out that way uh you know, you you let them attack you, and then while they're recovering from their own attack animation, you might be able to. Uh... Let's see if I can get out of here. Nope. I will have to use my herb to get out of here alive. Um, there are also invincible frames on the door opening, so if you can time it so you open the door right as a. Uh, you're about to get struck, you can avoid an attack that way. This is a nice lovely ballroom. Great lighting. Um, so yes, that is one of the other things they did when they went in to mm -hmm. uh, bring the game over to consoles and PC. Uh, little touches on the lighting, uh, water effects, other little touch-ups touch um, that were not present. And there's Parker. Jill, are you okay? Jill. I'm fine, but the ship's crawling with B.O.W.s. Okay, we're going to need our weapons. I think I saw them on my way here, but I couldn't reach them. We should be okay as long as we work together. I like Parker because he generally seems like a human being. Mm -hmm. That is, you know, they, uh, like, <laughs> just really tired <laughs> and, like, doesn't want to keep doing this. <laughs> I found these, though. So he's handing us uh, grenades here, um, sub weapon with right bumper. Think we can use it? So they gave this to be a W yeah, decoy, just might do the trick. Um, which is basically a grenade uh, similar to a pipe bomb in Left 4 Dead, if you know that one. Um, it'll attract them. So as we make our way through here, try to avoid many enemies. That didn't work. Get off of me! Okay, so so I'm just gonna toss that one out. So that took care of. Oh man, he's still not dead. Oh god, no! Oh, this is worse. Oh, I'm totally boxed in. I'm not even supposed to go this way. No, use the decoy. <laughs> use the decoy. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh man, it sucks! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, why didn't I just... Well, I didn't have a nerve. Well, I am sweating, so if that was something you're after uh, in your Resident Evil experience... Ah, uh, uh, there it is. Chris jokes. Sandwich jokes. Uh, Chris's blood jokes. So, but at least there are checkpoints, uh, so... You don't, like, yeah. get totally hosed when you die. You get to go back to a relatively recent point. Um, I'm just gonna cut to the chase here and toss this guy out. Oh, Parker right in the middle of all of it. Sometimes, yeah, there he goes. So that took care of him in one, one fell swoop. Hurry, Parker. Gee. So... If I can actually get around, if I can peek in between these bookcases. Whoa. That's not fair! 
<laughs> That's not I think all this madness can be traced back to a botched pudding recipe. Jeez. And the crew's kitchen staff. Okay, well the good news is the parts are right up here. <laughs> or there's another piece of custom parts, but the weapons are right here. So at least that's a checkpoint. So now you found your weapon. So you've kind of survived this test of can you just dodge things continuously and turns out uh, I can 40% of the time. So you found Man. you found literally all of your <laughs> equipment. Um so important thing here is uh looking at the custom weapons um, and how this works. And again, if you played the 3DS version, you probably know. But generally speaking, you get different weapons and you'll find different guns throughout the campaign. And then raid mode adds a whole other layer to this. But you can push F or uh, square in your PS3s and uh, hop over. And each gun has you know these customizable slots. And each one of them ups firepower, chance to put the enemy into a stun state where you can then do the crazy you know RE style melee attack. But you know it's not like uh, more RE4 style, I guess, where you just, um, you know, a big kick or something, or, you know, mercenary style. It's not like a, not doing the uh, diamond cutter or a stone cold stunner to them or anything. It's just <laughs> more of a wind up and hit kind of thing. Um, same with shotgun. You come over here. And then these are the two things I just picked up while I was playing. So, ups firepower by 10%. Well, I don't need that because I have this one by 60. Um, fires five consecutive shots with one trigger pull. So, that's. You know, you're going to eat up ammo, but if you want to take something out very quickly, just bam, 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 bam. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Um, also important is the Genesis gun, which lets you scan the environment or zoom in on Parker's crotch mm -hmm. um, in that case. Um, that's a, also like a core component of the game. Multifunctional. Now what? Now we contact HQ and tell them what the hell is going on. Should be able to do that from the bridge. Let's go. So, as an example, what you want to do is you want to walk around with the, the scanner gun out. Okay, and that'll detect something that you can scan. Start scanning it, and basically, it's how you find things hidden around the map. And if that thing is glowing yellow in the lower uh, lower right hand corner, that's how you know there's something to scan. Uh, that said, I probably am still near death. Um, the other important thing here is scanning enemies. So I may have blow, blew them all up. Uh, but as you scan enemies, it, it increases this percentage. If you look at the top of the screen, it currently says 0%. Um, now, scanning these do not count towards a, a percentage. These are just finding items in the environment to use. So in this case, more machine gun ammo. Uh, also very important because the game doesn't just throw ammo at you. Um, there's a lot of cases where you are literally out of ammo if you haven't been, you know, being smart about it. There's a lot of enemies in the game you do not need to engage directly. Um, it's better to just run. Um, this is a case where it's probably better for me to run, but they may all be wiped out from the grenades I was tossing. Although I do hear some shuffling. That might be Parker. Whoa! Right, you <laughs> Parker, <laughs> some decency, man. More shotgun shells. I think this might be a uh, oh, another piece of custom parts. That's probably in a different room. Uh, it does see-through walls. In that case, it was right here. More shells. So it's another enemy hanging out up here. If I can get close enough, fast enough, so I can scan this enemy, you see 11%, um, and that goes towards the 100%. When you get to 100, um, you get a free herb. However, that means you have to decide when you size up an enemy, like, okay, do I actually want to try to scan this thing? Should I just try to kill it? Because while I'm scanning it, you can't shoot at it, but the reward over time is a free, you know, healing item. But the odds of you getting those all in a row and not being hit, you're going to have to be pretty fancy footwork. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a lot of, you know, consideration into every encounter, uh, which I think is a hallmark of the older games. Like, you want to decide, you know, I'm not loaded to the teeth, I'm not just totally prepared for this. You know, they did not come here expecting to be 
roped up in another situation. Whereas like RE five and six, they go into battle like they know right. what they know what they're getting into. Um, so I can try. Oh, bad, bad. So there's another twelve. I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of here though, because I still don't have any healing items. Oh, God, no. Get away. That might be the end of Jill. Yep. Man. <laughs> Use a herb. Correct. As for why there's no healing in, uh, animation, I have no idea. I think it's just they want you to heal quickly. Oh god. So... I can try to do this, because this is like... That's cool. Or he can just oh. uh, not be phased by that at all. Yeah, it is, it is, uh, at the end of the day, it is just a difficulty mode, but it is available from the start. You don't have to unlock it, um, but it is, uh, even though I do feel the, the, the normal campaign is still, uh, if you were aching for, a uh, old-style RE, RE experience, even normal is akin to that, um, but, okay. You are the size of the hallway, sir. I successfully dodged it! I've dodged it twice! Get out of here! Okay. I think there's a thing in this cabinet. Yes. Get out of here. Uh, uh. Sorry, Parker, you're on your own. Uh, that was a flesh wound. How about that? What was that? That was a direct bludgeon to the face. <laughs> Man. But there's a lot of firefights with enemies, but it's not as, uh, you're not going to want to just shoot everything. What's more important at the end of the day is scanning them to get, uh, to get your goods. Uh, maybe get that later. This guy again. Yes. No. Not good. Less good. Okay. So. Nice. Let's, uh, tore him up. Ugh. At least still these regular grenades around. You get more percentage, uh, for scanning an enemy that is still living. But you do get something for scanning their goopy mess as they, uh, as they leave the world. So I get a little bit less. I don't think that's in this room. Oh, hello. Still don't have anything to open uh, the crest to get that shotgun. Hello. And again, uh, since it is a little bit structured more like the older games, so you have uh, kind of an open map. So while the game is divided into chapters, like there's still chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, that's more just used as like a plot uh, point more than it is like now you can't go back to this area you've already been. You're in a giant ship, so you'll want to get the card reader and later in the game come back and open up and see what's in this. Right. Uh, and there's other doors, there's just other areas of the map you can't get to. So if you look down here, that's actually where we were earlier, so now we're on the second floor of it. Uh, with those bookcases and I was tossing grenades around. If we can get this guy to explode. Ugh.
I can get him to... So now that I have the key, or rather don't, Ah, yes. Uh, but with my trusty knife, who cares about keys? And again, there's a key in uh, classic Ari fashion, adorned with a certain mark that won't open. Uh, the yellow thing is telling me there is something to scan. So if they were paying attention earlier, they were saying they have to go to the bridge because now they've got their weapons back, they've woken up, they're not sure what's going on. They want to go to the bridge to radio for help. And as we go up there, uh, the game kind of continues from there. But uh, I think the thing that's going on now is the bridge, when we get up here, does contain the new enemy that we're not supposed to show just yet. Uh oh. So we'll probably have to cut it a little short. Tell you what, you guys guess what it might be and we'll tell you if you're right. Someone's already been here. But if you know the game or read any of the wikis, you likely know the plot of the game. But again, this mode is more for... Uh, you're pretty familiar with the game. Uh, but yeah, D-pad. Switch your guns on the fly, as you might suspect. And then the other... Uh, well, D-pad moves up and down through shot grenades, um, any other kind of grenades that you have. And then left and right is your guns. And then you take them into raid mode and do different stuff with them. Uh, we did a hunk mode stream not long ago. And uh, we'll be doing another one at PAX. But uh, we'll hopefully have some different stuff to stream at PAX as well. So uh, yes. that's in a couple weeks. So we'll have more to show. Ah, there we go. Get rid of that blood effect, and now you can see all the pretty look colors that we were missing before. <laughs> Alright. And I believe through that door is the next room where we're not supposed to go in and show that monster, so I'm going to pe back out. <laughs>